Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to see a quadratic equation sum which came in the previous IBPS PO 2015. Here, I am going to tell you a easy method how you can solve the sum in a very very easy way. In this video, I have taken two questions and both the two questions are from the previous year uh, 2015 IBPS PO original questions. Now, I will tell you a simple logic, simple shortcut method, even if you don't know max, even if you have a fear on max also, uh, you don't have to bother about it. You can simply using this, whenever, wherever you find across this kind of uh, logic, you can immediately tell the answer. Now, I will tell you the logic. See here, if you see the question, here it is 3x square minus 13x plus 12 equal to 0. Here also, you are finding 3y square minus 13y plus 14 equal to 0. What is similar here means here 3x square but here 3y square. That is same value. Here minus 13x, here minus 13y. Again same value. But only thing is 12, here 14 is different. Correct or not? The here 12, here 14. But here I have 3, here also I have 3. Here I have 13, here also I have 13. So, the first two places in the equation are same, the last place only different, correct? Whenever you come across like this, you don't have to solve the sum directly, you can say the answer is cannot be determined, that is relationship cannot be established. Here, what is the option? Third option, that is relationship between x and y cannot be determined, directly you can say the answer as third option. This is a original question from the IBPS PO 2015. Only that question only I have taken for discussion. See, for your understanding, I am writing here. See, whenever I am given, uh, I am given an equation as ax square minus bx plus c equal to zero, and ay square minus by plus d equal to zero. Here, the value a is same in both x square and y square. Similarly, the value b is same in both x and y, only the c and d location value is different, that is 12 and 14 is different. Whenever I come across, whenever I find an equation and I want to compare the equation in this way, then I can simply say answer is cannot be determined. You need to understand here the equation of in the format here minus, here plus, correct? So, minus plus. Whenever you come across equation as minus and plus and the first two values are same, then no need to solve the question. Immediately, you can say the answer is cannot be determined. That's it. You don't, you don't have to uh, break your head uh, to solve the sum. See, I, will, I have also taken another sum and that also came in the last year. That is IBPS PO 2015. Now, I am taking that question. See here, again in this question also, you see 2x square minus 11x plus 15 equal to 0. Again here 2y square minus 11y plus 14 equal to 0. Here 2x square, here 2y square, here minus 11x, here minus 11y. See the value 2 is same here and here. Similarly, value 11 is same in both the places, both the equations. Only the constant 15 and 14 are different. That is the third place value is different. So in this equation also, I am given ax square minus bx plus c equal to 0. Similarly, ay square minus by plus c equal uh, plus d equal to 0. So here again a is same in the x square value. That is x square in x square and y square. In both places, the value is 2. And x and y value, again, here 11, here also 11. And c and d is different, that is 15 and 14 is different. Whenever I come across equation in the form of minus and plus, and the values in the first two values are same, then I can definitely say the answer is cannot be determined, even without any calculation, by seeing the question, by seeing the order of the equation. Immediately, I can say the answer is relationship cannot be established then my answer option is 4 that's it whatever the question i discussed 
I have taken only from the original previous year question paper. So very easily you can solve the question by if you know this logic. That's it. See in my next video I am also going to give more shortcuts about the quadratic equation. By seeing the question how you can answer it very very easily. Not only for the quadratic equation I am also planning to upload other topics also. So keep in touch with the channel. I will meet you in another video. Till then it's bye from Balaji. Please take care of yourself. See you. Bye bye.